did good. Uh, like I tell everybody, either way, whatever you do, whether you knock them out, win by decision, uh, win unanimously, they're always gonna have something to say. So it's like Andre Ward by TKO, but yet everybody's criticizing him, saying they're low blows, whatever it is. He had a fighter's instinct, he went for the kill, and he made shit happen, you know? What did you think of Sergey? Um kind of, I don't want to say looking for a way out, but it looked like he was looking for a way out. Yeah, no, nah, he was looking for a way out. He was being a little bitch, looking for excuses, looking at the ref. That's some bitch shit, bro. When you're in there, you're in a fight, bro. You can't be looking for excuses, can't be looking for nobody. It's you, yourself, and the other guy, and that's it, bro. If he hits you low, do it back, bro. If you're that fucking mad, do it back. But yeah, that was, that was some bitch shit, and you know, he's always complaining. He's always complaining, bro. That's what losers do. They have excuses, and they always complain. And also, like, he was threatening to end Andre Ward's career. He was talking a lot of stuff, and then in the fight, he didn't really show anything. Yeah, well, that's a fighter that talks a lot of smack. Don't back it up, but you got to back it up. But uh, Andre, he's a good fighter, so for him to say that, was, he had to train extremely hard to make it happen. And, you know, it wasn't going to happen. Andre works hard, and he's a dedicated fighter, so it's hard to do that. So you got a guy that talks a lot of smack, Conor McGregor versus Floyd, man. I know everyone wants to hear your opinion on that. Ah, uh, that's more of a show. I mean, the fight's not as big, but I want to see all the interviews and stuff leading up to the fight. It's entertainment. Yeah, it's, it's entertainment. It's like pro bro, wrestling. I want, I want to see the shit talking. I want to see. I want to see everything they're gonna say. I honestly like McGregor the way he talks, the way he's about himself, his confidence, his personality. So, uh, so I, I mean, I like him. I like his style. I like, I like the way he carries himself. He don't really give a fool, like he says. He don't really it's give just a fool. Fun. Just it's fun. A, yeah, but so, you don't care about the fight, but nah, you want to see everything but the fight, kind of. Right, I want to see everything, yeah. If I see the fight, it's fine. If I don't, it's not a big deal. But I'm sure I will. And no word on your next fight? Uh, no word yet, but um, uh, I'm looking to fight August 5th. Saturday, August 5th, they said I'm fighting. Uh, it'll be in LA, so I'll be able to announce all the information later, who's on the card, uh, what place, and it's a, it's, a, it's a big show, so I'm excited. So we're right here working. Okay, so get, get ready. El Tib, you're on fans. Get ready to travel. Oh, get ready to rumble. Okay.